Hello everyone, what's up? How have you all been? And this is again your average Indian sportsman. This is Nagaratya here. And uh, we are again uh, gonna come up with something interesting and you know which might excite you, you know, to and also uh, make you more curious upon, you know, what uh, might you, would have been your perspective towards, you know, looking at past and, you know, the evolutionary process. So right now, you know, like, each one of us has been knowing uh, about the great Himalayas, like, you know, the longest, uh, the, the highest mountain range in the world. Uh, you know, the, 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 although the longest is uh, in the, the South Americas and uh, the Andes, these are the longest, but Himalayas are the largest and the, the youngest, uh, youngest mountains. So, young full mountains also they say. Uh, prior to that, you know, it was the Kondwana or the Indian subcontinent was detached uh, uh, from the Asian uh, tectonic plate and it was somewhere down, you know, in the, like an island or, and prior to that, my, that whole of that Gondwana island would have also been attached to the African plate. So, that's how uh, you, you have, uh, you know, so these plates also you could, you know, find, you know, getting uh, fixed together if you have a look at the map. And there are a lot of species also, you know, which you, you might find down south of India, you know, some species of frogs which also uh, have uh, their relatives found in Madagascar and Africa. So, so many of such species also you see a lot of antelopes and deer in Africa. The same is what happens here, you know, the amount of species uh, and the, the amounts of, uh, the, the amount of, you know, uh, wildlife and, you know, uh, organism, different organism which are there, which Found, find similarity in between the Indian subcontinent and the African bit. So, so uh, right now what we are up to is uh, we are discussing is the Indian uh, the Gondwana plate, uh, which you know which came up which which was separated to the Tethys Sea, to the Asian tectonic plane. Tethys Sea was a very shallow sea, and uh, uh, there's another story attached. We'll come up with that. So uh, when the Gondwana belt you know pressed uh, towards the the Asia, the present Asiatic uh, tectonic plate, Asiatic uh, uh, continent, a Asian continent. So that that time, you know, uh, the, the clash would have took place between these two uh, different con different uh, continent landmasses, and that uh, is, is what to have said is, is said to have you know uh, uh, form what is said to have helped in forming the present day Him Himalayan belt. So it's actually, it's actually uh, not, this is, this is not actually the, the real story, the actual the real story would have been uh, the, the, the Gondwana, Gondwana landmass would have, you know, uh, would have clashed to the, Asia, to the, to the, this Eurasian, Asian uh, uh, landmass and that would have, that would have helped in forming Tibetan uh, highland, the, the, the Tibetan plateau. So you see why? So see, so if you see, you know, Tibetan plateau is at uh, is one of the uh, is, is like the roof of the world. It's one of the you know the highest mountain, the highest uh, uh, plateaus in the world. And so the initially what would have formed, what would have been formed, would have been just the uh, Tibetan plateau. But then you know some some some. So then what uh, uh, should come next? So what would have happened next? So what happened happens next is uh, a volcanic eruption. So the oceanic belt or the Indian land which was in the oceans would have you know passed the Tethys Sea and would have clashed the uh, uh, Tethys Sea was shallow because that time probably you know uh, the ice age would have been there. So the waters would have uh, you know or m most of the waters would have been frozen. So the the, sea, the Tethys Sea was uh, very shallow. So, uh, so when the, the when the Tibetan plateau has been formed after these two plates clash, there what happens is there erupts a volcanic eruption. Out of those volcanic eruptions, Himalayas also arise, and hence you could also find on the on, on the Himalayan top of the or highest of the altitudes of the Himalayas, uh, you know there are granite belts and people also find fossils of the, uh, how how did, how were they able to make out that you know this would have been sea earlier like this would have this has just sprung out of you know the the seabed seabed so on the top, Himalayan tops so of high altitudes people have, and the researchers have found fossils of different fishes and even you know probably waves or many of sea creatures 
So still, you know, the fossils of many of the sea creatures are found on the Himalayan tops. So that is the reason, you know, they they could uh, related to how uh, events would have occurred in earlier times. I hope you enjoyed uh, this one.